guys and welcome into another Minecraft video. My name is Spicier Crowd 9 and this is Minecraft Tips and Tricks episode 4 and we are going to talk about interior lighting today. Before we do get started, I want to let you know if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Like the video, give the give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Give it a comment if you see something that you like in the video, something that you even don't like in the video. You know, you know, I'm not too, I'm not too picky. I, 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 I can take criticism. If you see something that you don't like or something that you'd like to see in a future video, let us know in the comment section down below. Also, I want to let you guys know that we stream on the Twitch every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 2:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come over and check us out. We'd love to have you hang out and chat with us, chat it up. Check out some of our builds of some of the awesome stuff that we're doing on the Insys server. Link to our Twitch page is in the description down below. So let's get started on today's episode and we are going to work on some interior lighting. Alright, so interior lighting has something that plagues a lot of people. Some people just get it. Some people don't. Uh, I used to have a hard time with it. You know, we, we, we'd stick a torch on the wall and we we go about our day and... And, and that's how it would come out. But uh, I've, I've put up I've put up about ten or so, I think, different ideas for you for interior lighting. And we're going to start right here with this humble jumble of a mess, and show you some lighting ideas for modern style houses and stuff. So I know it's a little bulky up here, um, but this is this is just for show. So so say you've got some modern modern style housing and you're looking for some sort of light source to put on the inside to light up your builds to keep them spawn proof we don't want stuff spawning in them um, but here we've got kind of a fluorescent light so we've got some a couple of end rods up there with some some blocks of white stained glass uh, looks really really nice and then here here we're using the instance texture pack while we're here too this this is sea lanterns and they put off a beautiful little glare beautiful little glow they even stick down they look like little lights if you if you were to if you were to stick to we'll go here we'll, let's let's oh i should have been prepared for this i should have been prepared for this uh let's uh those sure why not why not get rid of that uh so they 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 even look good they even look good with the slabs you put the slabs in around them they look, what happened what happened get it together spice here you can do this you can do this but they look like the little globe sticking down to the ceiling. They're really nice. I really like them a lot. Uh, we've used these in some of the modern builds that we've done on the Insys uh, server. And I think they look really nice. So, yeah. So, there's there's your two ideas for, for modern builds. We've got another one down toward the end, but it's more of a hanging chandelier than anything. But, but I think these look really good. Uh, really good. Just learned how to English today. I think these look really good, and they can really, really... You know, pull some pull some much needed lighting and stuff into your builds. Um, here we have an example of just your basic torch, just a basic torch on an item frame. We are going to show how this is done because well, I've actually had quite a few people ask about this. Um, you know exactly how how this is how this is done, and uh, I want to actually show you. So we're going to go in our inventory. We're going to pull if we can learn how to type right an item frame. And we're going to pull a torch. And we've already got our anvil. You can see it already there in our inventory. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here. We're going to show you exactly how this is done. So you can do it one of two ways first. You can either place the torch down first. You can do whatever first. It really doesn't matter. We're going to throw the item frame down first. So we're going to throw our item frame. We're going to put our anvil in the item frame. And then we're going to come right off here to the side. Not on the item frame, but right off the side. And we're going to click on the block. And it's going to put our torch right there. And it looks like that torch is in a little holder. Very nice for medieval builds. Very nice for any type of rustic build or anything like that. Looks great. I am completely in love with this. I spam these things all over the place. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You see that over there? You see that? I can't, if I turn, you. there's our build tutorial. There's our build tutorial. It's coming up soon. This week. But yes, I love this. I love the way it looks. Uh, if you're going for the more dungeon-esque, the dark and mysterious look, um... Some iron bars. Now, there's something going on in my pack. I'm not sure exactly what it is. My iron bars are looking all funky at the moment. But some lava in behind some iron bars gives off a great light source. Um, another one here that you can still do, this is with a redstone torch. So if you want the lighting to be a little less, you know, dramatic, you want a little more a little more dim, uh, some, some little dim dark places. You know, say you've got, 
bottom slab or you know bottom slabs covering the floor. You don't really have to worry about too much lighting. You want some ambient 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 lighting. There you go. And this is the same basic premises as this. We're just using a redstone torch instead, and we're using a a stone brick slab in there instead. Stone brick slab. Uh, here, uh, and we're kind of jumping the gun a little bit on this because we're going to do an episode on hidden lighting. But here is if you were going to do some sort of hidden lighting. Uh, these are your bookshelves placed in behind here. You got your trap doors coming in the side. Uh, but in behind these trap doors, we have glowstone. So it's it's a bit of hidden lighting. It kind of covers it up. It's you know it, it it's okay. It's all right. Um, yeah, you know, we could have mixed up the bookshelves and stuff like that somewhere or whatever. But it gives it some depth and dimension here. It, but you also get the lighting aspect and everything else in. Um, we'll come back to that. Here it is, it's pretty much the same thing. We've just bought it forward a block. You've got your glowstone down here. I really like the way this looks a lot better than I like that to be honest with you. But this is. It's just a, it's another way. We're kind of like I said, we're kind of jumping the gun because we're going to do an episode on hidden lighting. But but this is jumping the gun a little bit. Uh, this is just very simple. It's a fence post and a torch, and and a, no, that's not a torch. It's a lantern. A fence post and a lantern. Uh, I use this in a lot of the builds that I do just because I do very simplistic lighting. Uh, nothing too fancy, nothing too over the top. But but here's one that uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody knows already. Um, this is just another simple form just by placing the lighting on top of an upside down stair it i think it looks nice i mean i think it 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 is you know it's it's nothing fancy by any means but it's just it's there it's something that we can do um but these are some some ideas of some sources of some some wall lighting uh i'm pretty sure there's a lot more we'll cover those at, a, at another time but uh these are just some simple ones I wanted to show to begin off with, and now we're going to move over to some more hanging chandelier type lighting. So this we're going to go up here so we can take a look at. It. So this is is very simple. Like I said, my iron bars you'll have to forgive me, my iron bars are kind of messed up in my pack right now for some reason. I'm not really sure what's going on, um, but just real simple. Uh, four fence posts going down. We're going to branch out by two. We're going to drop one branch out by two more. We're going to bring all those down together. We've got a grindstone here on the bottom some iron bars here on top and then we've got four hanging lanterns up underneath um most people like the lanterns some people don't and for the people that don't like the lanterns that still want to go with torches maybe this is the way you want to go uh so this is a double chandelier that hangs down you've got your top portion up here you got your grindstone as a base on the top you're coming down again four fence posts you make it a square on the bottom skip one up go through and make the cross torches on top very nice it's very simple it's it's but it's i still like the torch chandeliers i still think they look nice in minecraft i still think they do their purpose and they're really really nice so this one over here is kind of a playoff on this one without the iron bars and with a little more lighting to it so what this one is is we're actually going three fence posts down and skipping one with the grindstone and then going three more up underneath it and we've got lighting at the top lighting in the middle and lighting on the bottom looks really nice i really like this one uh this would be better for a, a taller space if you've got like a really tall ceiling and you need to kind of fill some of the empty space up this would be a great one a great one here to do uh this one here is a little more on the modern side um very simple to put together you got your iron bars coming down uh, all connecting into the glowstone, the full blocks of glass. Then you've got glass panes set inside, and then underneath that you've got some end rods put in with the final glass block on the bottom. It's very simple. I don't do a whole lot of modern builds, so these are these are. I'm pretty sure you guys can come up with one that's a lot better than this. But this is this is one that I came up with, and I I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I mean, you could see it like hanging over a dining room table, or maybe in a foyer way of of a nice big house, or something like that. Uh, we're moving like along to this one. We've only got two left. We've only got two left, guys. So this one here is one that we used in one of our builds on another server that I play on by the name of Whispering Woods. Uh, and these you can extend down from a very tall ceiling and make them look really nice. Um, it's very simple. It's 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 a cobblestone wall, iron block, or not iron block, but iron uh. Iron bar, cobblestone wall, iron bar. And you just keep doing that down until you get to an iron bar at the end of however far you want it off the floor. Uh, you'll place one extra iron bar so you can place in your, your bottom slab. We do have fire tick turned off. 
That's very important because if not, all this will go up in flames. Fire tick turned off. Uh, trap doors around that iron bar. Break the iron bar out. Light it. Come down to the bottom. And you've got four banners around the sides. I like this a lot. We did this, and in, in like I said, in, in one of the builds that we did on Whispering Woods, and everybody just loved the lights. Loved them, loved them, loved them. Thought they were great. So uh, this is a playoff of this one, but this could be used in more of a modern style build maybe. Uh, at the top, we have a hopper, and then we have a chain or a series of iron bars going down. A full block of your choice, whatever you wanted to use, you could use... You could use black concrete here. You could use the dark or the the gray concrete, light gray concrete. You could use the stone even if you wanted to. We put the banners around, and then on the very very bottom, sticking just out from underneath, we have our lantern sticking down. And it really could see this as like a pendant light that would hang over like a bar type thing uh, in some sort of modern city. You could probably uh, you could probably actually pull this up a little bit and make it a little bit different you know make it make it fit more in your areas and stuff um but this is one that i really really like a lot i haven't actually used it in any build yet i've been messing around with these for a couple of days now and just kind of made a few things up and this one here I, I really really like the way it looks really like the way it's turned out um it's very beautiful it's very if the iron bars were working right you could see it if I, you would have used concrete instead of wood you would have seen it too but it's very modern very very modern it's 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 very nice i like it i like them all a lot uh like them all a lot hopefully you were able to pull some inspiration out of something that we've showed you here today um if there's any other kind of lighting that you would like to see we are planning on doing the episode here before too much longer on hitting lighting uh outdoor lighting and hidden lighting uh we're going to wrap them all up in one in one tips and tricks it'll be the last lighting one that we do uh, we may cover some of the fence posts and things that we didn't cover, or not fence posts, but uh, lamp posts and things that we didn't cover in our other video that was back here about the, uh, about the lamp posts and stuff, and may cover some more chandeliers and things if we come up with some new designs and stuff, some more designs on wall lighting and things of that nature too. But uh, we will have one more one more episode on lighting, but it will probably be a few weeks out. We're going to try to do some custom trees next week, custom trees. So. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for today. I do want to thank you guys for, for coming out today. Uh, as always, don't, you know, don't forget we do stream on Twitch every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link is in the description down below. Down below. Down below. Down below. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment if you can think of something that we did not think of, which I'm pretty sure there's a lot we didn't think of. And um, if you're new here, if this is your first time, welcome please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps it out a lot. Uh, but until next time, guys, thank you for being here. I greatly appreciate it. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye.